Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how you can set up Maya to create and export models in it that you can use in Amnesia. And I just decided I wanted to make this video since it doesn't directly have anything to do with Amnesia and because uh, my editors uh, right now do not work. <clears throat> As you can see right now, it just gives me an f a fatal error and I'm fairly certain this is because I updated my operating system to 10.9. Uh, since it's a free opera app, <laughs> app store, blah blah. Uh, yeah, so you can download it for free, but I suggest you wait if you're on 10.8 or if you're using Windows, you don't need to worry about this. But uh, Maya works for Windows too, and uh, we're gonna have to download a plugin called Open Colada, which is for Windows and Mac. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, there was also a recent patch, I don't think it's actually officially released at the time of this. Um, recording but uh, Frictional Games released a patch for Amnesia which makes it support more of the Machine for Pigs assets uh, and uh, also the uh, support for um, models exported in 3ds Max so um, you, you don't need to use Maya although I'm going to use Maya I prefer using Maya uh, but you don't need to use Maya there are a few other uh, options uh, you can use 3ds Max if you uh, well I believe you can at least very soon uh, and you can use Blender if you figure out. Although I tried Blender and I could not get Blender to work perfectly fine, but I guess I gave up before I tried it enough. Um, uh, I prefer Maya over Blender anyways, but Blender is free, so you can get Blender and uh, you, if you can find the Open Collada plugin for that, because it's not on the official site as far as I can see. But anyways, um, enough chat. So uh, first of all, um, let's just, I'm gonna assume that you have Maya already installed. And uh, this video is, of course, for Mac. Uh, if you're on a Windows computer, it'll go it's going to be a bit s different. Yeah, Maya itself is identical, but it's going to be quite different. Uh, well, kind of different to install the actual plugin, but it should say on the text file. So let's open up Chrome and just go to. Um, well, actually, let's just Google Open Colada. Open Colada. <laughs> there. Uh, and uh, I'll have this linked in the description so you can uh, go there instead and hopefully this doesn't take forever to load. Uh, Colada.org So uh, basically Colada, Open Colada is the plugin that you need in your um, um, 3D modeler so that you can export it in the DAE format, the DAE format or whatever uh, that you can actually use in uh, in Amnesia because uh, most models crash in Amnesia. You can only use DAE files and uh, or DAE files and uh, they need to be formatted in a specific way because Amnesia is really picky. I already have a video that uh, shows what you can do once you have the model so I'm gonna put that as the follow-up of this video uh, that you can look at uh, once you have created a model because this video is mostly just for the basics of creating models. I'm not gonna show you how to efficiently use Maya uh, to create models because I'm not very good at it. I'm gonna say that. I'm not a per an expert at Maya. Uh, you can find n probably a lot of tutorials on how to actually use Maya, but that's universal. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can export and create models that can be used in Amnesia. So, uh, first of all, we're gonna have to find a download. It should be somewhere around here, and since I'm lazy, I'm just gonna... Oh wait, there's a download right there. Uh, but I don't think that's the one I want. I'm gonna go on I'm just going to Google download and this one yeah so uh, yeah this is a site I'll be having linked uh, so uh, it, you should get the latest version uh, the other ones you don't need to worry about what's under here just worry about what's here if you're on a Windows you'll be downloading the MSI installer and this will depend on if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit uh, operating system this is for 3ds Max and this is for Maya so if you have Maya, you can download one of those, but if you're on Mac, there's only one download, just download the universe, universal one. Uh, I don't think there's such a plugin for 3ds Max on Mac, if that even is support for Mac. I haven't looked into that, but just download that thing, and uh, it should come out as a zip file, and I'm going to just skip until it's done. <sighs> Alright, it looks to be about done. So I'm just going to minimize that and let's see, here we got Open Galato. this is the plugin and you just download whatever version you are required to have 
And if you're getting the same one as me, then uh, this sh it should look like this. Um, I don't think it is going to be updating a lot because it hasn't really been updating. Uh, at least the plugin itself has not been updating a lot. Uh, so it should stay fairly the same. Uh, there's a readme file that shows you how to install it. And I'm going to actually be using that one uh, for a little th something. Um, also, there are a couple of folders and their scripts. So this looks like, how do you use this? How do you install this? All right, well, first let's open up the, the readme file. It basically says everything you need to know right there. So uh, what you need to start off with, since we're going to be using the 2011 version of Maya, uh, and also, by the way, you can only use the 2011 version of Maya um, for exporting for Amnesia. The other ones are not supported, so you must have 2011. Make sure that you have 2011 and not 2012 or 13 or any other. So, once you have 2011 Maya installed, you should be able to find these paths. First of all, it says copy the file. This is for instruction, so it has the copy the file 2010, 11, 12, and 13. We don't need to worry about that because we only have the 2011. So, you want to copy the file 2011 opencolada-maya.bundle, which is inside 2011 folder, this file right here. And we want to copy it into slash users shared Autodesk Maya 2011 plugins. So what you can do right here is that you copy this path directly from the editor right there. And you go to folder, like go to folder on Finder by right clicking. And then you just paste it in and it's just like that. And uh, go to folder. I'm going to click go. And it jumps over to uh, this new path which is located on my computer, hard drive, users shared Autodesk Maya 2011 plugins. So, uh, of course, I've already placed my version of Kalada in there, but if you were, <coughs> uh, if you do not have it installed, which you probably don't by now, uh, you want to take this file and put it into there. And uh, for whatever reason, it didn't override it. Why didn't override it? Well, I'm gonna keep one only then. Uh, I thought it would replace, but um, yeah, so, but anyways, you just take that file and drag it into plugins. And next thing it says in the description is that you just want to copy the two mel files in scripts into user shared out of this Maya scripts. So what you can do here is that you go back to Maya. There's a folder called scripts. And you just want to copy these two uh, mel files right into there. And they might not have that icon. Uh, or they might, depending on if you have installed Maya or whatever, I believe. <laughs> they might have it actually because you need to have installed Maya to do this. So. Anyways, uh, just put those right in there, and uh, that should be it. So when you close Maya, you also need to enable it in Maya itself. So I'm going to close all these now, and start up Maya. And this is how it looks right now. Uh, it's somewhat advanced, like, I'm not going to say that, that Maya is incredibly easy to use, because it is a 3D modeler, and 3D modelers can, well, they have the option. You can be easy and uh, well, you can you can be very simple and not make a lot of good things, or you can be really advanced and make a lot of good stuff. So uh, Maya is amazing at modeling if you know what you're doing. You can make incredible models, incredible animations, like some of the best animations I've seen are made in Maya. Uh, for example, the introduction to The Witcher 2, if you, go, uh, if you YouTube that. But anyways. Uh, there was something we need to do here. We need to go on the uh, uh, plugin something something. Let me find it. All right, so let's go on Window, Settings, Preferences, Plugin Manager. Make sure you go to this location. And uh, we need to enable it. After you have installed it, you need to enable it. So uh, what you need to do here is that you go down, it should probably be at the bottom, I'm not sure if it's directly at the bottom since before you installed it, uh, but after that it should be like uh, Colada, let's see if it's on C, I don't know where it is, let's see, oh yeah, okay, so it's at the very top, <laughs> I completely missed that, uh, I haven't actually, by the way, I haven't done this in quite a while since first time I did it, so it's been a few months. Anyway, so um, you want to make sure that it's loaded, and you probably want to auto-load it too, so you don't have to do this every time. You just click there once, and you won't have to worry about it ever again. Um, and it also says in the config that you want to disable the fbxmaya.bundle, and you want to unload that thing, 
uh, because it conflicts with it. And I have apparently forgotten to uncheck uh, that one for these couple of months, and it has been working for me, so uh, I'm not sure. Uh, it says in the config that you need to. Uh, personally, it hasn't really affected me, so I'm not sure about that. But I'm just going to disable it for now, in case it's some hidden fault or conflict. Anyways. After that, you well, you could press refresh if you've edited anything while having this open, and, but just close it, and that should be it for now, um, having installed OpenColada. And if you successfully manage to install OpenColada, then you can go on File, Export, I'm going to go Export All, and you need to select at the bottom type of file open colada exporter if this is not on the list then your plugin has not loaded make sure it's loaded and that you select it and you should have all of these options on the side and these are the exact options that you need to have to uh, export your file and i believe the only things that you need to change here that are not default is that when you export it you want to take away cameras you want to take away animation and uh, you need to triangulate it. I think try yeah, there's triangulate. Click on that. And by the way, this is this was default for me right now. So just triangulate, camera, animation. Make sure camera animation are off. Well, actually, animation. I don't think. Uh, no, it wasn't animation. It was lights. I'm sorry about that. Uh, animation. You can have animation in your models, yes, but you cannot have lights because that's handled by the uh, HPL editor and not Maya. So you take away the camera, take away the light, and you make sure it triangulates or else it will crash. Now, let's just make a simple model because you probably also want to figure out how to add a texture and model to your whatever. So I'm just going to do a very simple model by going up here on the box under polygons. And this is not going to be a, any in-depth tutorial on how to actually make a model because uh, I I'm not the right person to tell you how to do that. <laughs> I don't know the best ways of making models and what I'm going to show you is probably going to be uh, somewhat uh, like amateurish. Like I'm, I'm not very good at Maya. Uh, so I'm just going to I'm going to press the 5 key and that will shade it. It doesn't really make a difference, just easier to see. But uh, yeah, so now we have a box right here and what I'm going to do to this box, I'm just going to go on Edit Mesh and Bevel. Click on that and it will make it a slightly different shape as you can see. It's uh, it's just to make it a little variety. I'm not going to actually be able to import this to Amnesia in this video because my editors are not working but the other video that I have I've already exported a model that you can just assume that this is the same model in that video. So uh, once you have this model right here you want to add a texture to it because you need to have a texture to it. If you do not have a texture to it, you will also crash. That is very important to know because if you forget to assign a texture to your model, then it's going to crash. Going to crash. Yeah. So now let's let's just quickly create a texture. I'm going to go in Paintbrush, just a very simple free editor. Um, gotta allow that. Over and over and over and over. <sighs> All right. So uh, now, when you're gonna make the file, you want to make sure that it is of a cubic resolution, or in other words, it's oh, sorry about that. It's a uh, a resolution that can be divided by eight or by four and by s something like that. If you know the multi multiplication uh, of, uh, if you know the system of bits. And bytes, then it's going to be uh, the resolution one by one. You don't want that. Two by two, nah. Uh, four, four, eight, eight, sixteen, sixteen, thirty-two by thirty-two, sixty-four by sixty-four, and etc. Like that. Uh, a resolution that uh, could be good to use would be either five twelve by five twelve or ten twenty-four by ten twenty-four. That's double. Uh, depending on how much detail you want in your texture. I'm just going to make this 512 because I don't need uh, that much texture. And let's just make some really strange patterns. Uh, let's make some like this. And just fill it in with random colors. <laughs> it's not going to look pretty, but that's not exactly the, the point here either. It's just a demonstration. So let's say you make your texture. This one is horrible. I'm so sorry. <coughs> Let's just call it texture, 
add PNG. Save it on the desktop. So here we have that. Now you want to make a new folder on your desktop and name it. Uh, just name it whatever you want, really. I'm gonna make uh, this call this one uh, model. Um, and uh, well, that's just gonna be the name of this certain model. You probably want to name it like a a uh, chair or a sofa or something like that. And put the texture inside. And when you're gonna name the texture and the model, you probably want to name them like something that is certainly unique. Uh, in the amnesia directory and also think about other mods because if you name it like uh, a couch that's not a model that is used in amnesia but other mods or custom stories might have that model so you don't want it to interfere with that so you want to name it something a little more obscure probably the name of your custom story or mod underscore the name of the couch or whatever so that it's not the same name as any other but I'm just gonna name a texture in this example so Open up Maya, and one thing you can do here is that you can right click it, or hold, and sign favorite material Lambert. I believe uh, it should already be assigned Lambert automatically, and I believe if you do this, uh, or assign existing material rather, because you don't want to create a new one, uh, assign existing material Lambert, it'll just skip directly to that panel. Uh, other than that, you can go on the attribute editor, which is on the side at the very top. And then you, sh when you click on the model, uh, there we go. Uh, there should be a tab called Lambert One, and this is the material, and this is where you add the texture. So uh, on this color thing, you want to click on the checkered mark, which will add this render mode, render node, and you want to select. If you do not have the file right here on the list, this one. Uh, you want to make sure that you have these selected. I believe it's in 2D textures. Yeah. So you want to click on File. And once you have File, you just want to locate the image file. Right here, click on the Open folder. And navigate to wherever you have it. Model, Texture, PNG. It looks terrible, I know. Uh, it's not going to display on the model until you press the Textured uh, Material button up here. Or it should be, I think it's 6 on the keyboard. It's six on the keyboard. So now it looks like this. This is by default how it's textured. Yeah, I mean, the texture looks terrible. The texturing looks terrible as well. Um, but that's important. If you do not have the texture assigned, it will crash. But right now, if you were to export it with the settings I showed earlier, this should be able to actually work in Amnesia. Uh, the only problem is, well, you probably don't want this specific model. So uh, you can edit it if you know how to, or, but uh, let's. I'm going to assume that you know something about modeling, uh, or you can find that elsewhere because I'm I'm not the right guy to to teach you that, as I've said several times already. But now let's. I'm just going to show you a very very simple way of uh, editing your texture once you have applied it, because that's something I'm not very good at. I'm, this is not a very efficient way. If you know a better way, then please use that. But this works at least so it's it's like a backup plan what you first want to do is that you assign the camera to be exactly front or back or something like that so now if you click on this box up in the corner you can ro uh, or locate the camera rather uh, at a very specific point so you can do the corner now it's directly at the corner directly at the front etc top or corner uh, yeah so you can change change the camera to like for example front and then you cre go on create UVs. If you don't have that menu, make sure that this drop down menu in the very top corner is set to polygons. And create UVs, planar mapping. You want to click on this little box at the corner as well to bring up the menu. And you want to set the uh, project from camera. If you put it to X, it'll be the same no matter what the camera position is, which is more accurate, but it's less desirable because you want to change the way the texture looks. Uh, a lot so and uh, also keep it a bounding box and stuff like that so just I'm just gonna close it and go directly planar mapping which gives me this map that I can like drag across the model so right now the texture repeats so you don't have to worry about that or you might want to worry about that but you can also stretch the size of it but only in all directions and that's looking really trippy here and you can also stretch it like that and uh, like that. 
So let's just make it something like this. Uh, but bear in mind, if this is directly across like this, it's going to stretch a single pixel over this way. So you probably want to select individual faces and retexture them if you're going to use this method, if you don't find a better, me better method, that is. So if you right click it or hold it and select face, you can select the, the an individual face like this one. And if you hold shift, you can select multiple like that. So now I selected all the faces in the middle. If I were to assign the camera to the right now and go on create mapping again, it's only going to be texturing those I selected, as you can see. So this is a very basic way of texturing. It's not very good, as I said, but you can use it if you feel like you have nothing else to use. And I'm also going to texture the top and bottom so that they look acceptable, even though they don't look good, but I mean, hey, I never said they were going to. So now this box looks terrible, but it's a model. So what do you want to do with when you're done with your done messing around in Maya with the model? You want to go on File, Export All, or you can export as an individual selection. It doesn't really matter. Just export all. Make sure it's set to Collider. Make sure it does not have camera, no joint uh, or no lights. You can keep joints and make sure it triangulates it. Now, after that, you want to name it whatever you want, probably the same as your texture or something similar and export it in the same folder. Or you don't need to export it, but it needs to be located in the same folder. That is desktop model. And I want to save it in there. And after that, that's all you need to do for now. As you can see, model.day, it looks like this now. And uh, for whatever reason, I don't know. Oh, okay, I believe it's actually the Mac that has updated this 3D model preview because I haven't actually been using it since I updated my operating system. So it looks a little different than I'm used to. Look at this white fog thingy. But anyways, this is the model. You can use space to open up this little preview and you could look at it in uh, here and this is how it looks and bear in mind if you were to take this outside of the folder with the texture it might not update on the icon directly but the texture I believe no wait the, if the texture is actually moved from the location it was uh, originally assigned it's going to uh, not find the texture and just be white and make sure that the texture is found or else the editor will crash because Amnesia is pretty picky with that but just make sure that you keep both of these inside here and uh, that's pretty much uh, what I can show you in this video. Um, uh, let's just assume that this one is called like custom model, custom block, or block custom, whatever I named it in the previous video that I'm going to link to now. And uh, you can pick up from there and how to import it to Amnesia because uh, this is what you will need to begin with. This is the model. This is how you create and export the model and then use the other video that I already have recorded that you can look at to uh, <laughs> that can show you how to actually import this into Amnesia uh, because uh, that is a fairly different process you need to like add the collision box and stuff like that and I would show you a quick little run through right now if I was actually able to but I'm not because the editors either one of them they do not work Ech. They do not work uh, at all for me right now and I really hope Frictional Games will, uh, if they have not noticed this yet, I really hope they will notice it and uh, release like a fix patch for this uh, because right now uh, the Amnesia editors do not work for Mac as far as I know uh, on the most recent version of the operating system and that was not what I meant to do. Anyways. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop rambling on now and just let you go and watch that video if you want or uh, if this was all you needed to know then there you go. Uh, yeah, I suppose that would be everything for this video and I will thank you for watching and I will see you later.